when people say I've got money in the bank, I say, well, once you put it in the bank, it's not your money anymore. It's the bank's money. They'll give it to you if they feel like it, uh, if you pass a few tests. You cannot implement and control a CBDC unless you get rid of cash. Uh, one way or the other, either get rid of it or make it so difficult, exactly as you described. Because uh, if you don't like CBDCs, I don't like them, and I think most people understand them, they'll find reasons not to like them either. You can just go to cash. Um, but if they say you, know, you can't get your cash or you can't use your cash, I mean, already, so I was talking about the United States. You go to a coffee shop or a boutique or a restaurant, you'll see little signs in the window, no cash accepted. Now, that's not the law. No one's imposing that on them. But the, the entrepreneur has decided, you know, bring your credit card or your your PayPal or whatever, but uh, Apple Pay, whatever you have, but but we don't take cash. So that's already starting. Um, the government, again, today, this is not futuristic. This is what, what happens today. Um, we have um, a series of reporting to the Internal Revenue Service, not anyone's favorite agency, uh, the tax collectors. But uh, if you take $10,000 or more out of the bank in cash, they file something called a currency transaction report, CTR. They file that with an agency called the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Notice the word crimes right in the middle of it, FinCEN for short, but Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, which is, an, I work with them, it's an anti-terrorist organization. And uh, you'll be putting a file right next to, you know, Osama bin Laden or um, and al-Zawahiri. So, um, so people don't like that, but certainly a red flag for the IRS. Um, and then, but if you take as little as $4,000, they'll file something called an STR, which is a suspicious transaction report. And the thought there was, okay, I don't want the CTR, because so I'm not going to take out $10,000, but I'll make three trips to the bank and get $4,000 each time, and there's $12,000, and they won't file a CTR. Well, they won't, but they'll file an STR, suspicious transaction report, because you look like you're gaming the system, and you may be. Uh, so you're getting reported to the IRS either way. And, and people say, oh, I got $100,000 in the bank. If they do this, I'll just go down and take all my money out and stick it in a, you know, under my mattress or whatever. Like, good luck. I mean, try doing it. Uh, if you go to a bank and say, I want to withdraw $100,000 and, you know, $100 bills or whatever, and fill up a nice satchel, um, they'll tell you, come back, make an appointment, come back in a week. Uh, bring like, your birth certificate and your wife's birth certificate, and your passport and every other ID you can think of. Uh, and uh, they will certainly file the, the uh, currency transaction report I described. So I'm not saying it can't be done, but it, it's, it's, it can't be done nearly as easily and certainly not without reporting to the government. Um, and so people, when people say I've got money in the bank, I say, well, once you put it in the bank, it's not your money anymore. It's the bank's money. They'll give it to you if they feel like it. Uh, if you pass a few tests, but stop thinking about it as your money. And certainly that that has sort of come to the fore with these bank failures we've seen in the U.S. recently. Mm -hmm.